It is a lovely spring morning. I'm out at the Dallas Arboretum to photograph daffodils today. There are so many varieties here and the weather is beautiful, so I will take my time and experiment with my camera and lenses. It is my first time out with a new telephoto lens. I'm interested to see how it compares with my macro lens for close-ups. I'm so happy it's time to put the winter doldrums behind us and appreciate this brief time of year when everything starts coming back to life. I know that the more I appreciate the moment, the easier it will be to come away with some images that I like. I enjoy shooting handheld because I move around a lot shooting at various angles. On a breezy day like today, I use a shutter speed of at least 1 200th of a second to get a sharp image. If possible, I'll wait for a break in the wind and take a shot as soon as the flower stops moving. Generally, I try to avoid shooting the flower from a front-facing direction as it can appear flat that way. I move off to a side profile of the flower to see its depth and interesting shapes. It is also better to get eye level with the flower or even shoot a bit lower than eye level sometimes. This is one of my older photos. I thought I would place it here to illustrate. The flower had been drooping over after a rain shower. I had to place my camera near the ground looking up toward the flower to get the shot. I almost always shoot with a wide aperture. I like to isolate the flower from the background and blur the background if possible. I'm using my macro lens here. Most of the time I just leave the aperture set to 2.8. I always try to have the lowest ISO possible, so I set it to 100 and then adjust the shutter speed to get the exposure that I want. Most of the time I'll focus on the stamen or the center of the flower just like you would focus on the eyes of a human or animal subject. And now it is time to switch to the telephoto lens for a bit. Even though I wanted to spend time getting to know my new lens today, I just can't resist taking a photo with my phone as well. In this location, it is a little bit dark under the trees, so I set my ISO to 400. The wind is moving the flowers around, I need to freeze the action. I set the shutter speed to 1 400th of a second. The aperture is 5.6 as wide as this lens will open at 400 millimeters. I left all of the settings the same for the following shot, even though the scene was slightly brighter. I've had a few questions about the gear I use, so I thought I would just give you a peek into my camera bag. I have a limited amount of gear and I don't always use everything I have every time I go out. Most of the time, I just use one lens during a nature walk. I usually carry my older crop sensor camera, a 100mm macro lens, a 35mm lens and lenses for my phone. My new lens is the 100-400mm by Canon. The smaller camera is what I use to film these videos with. My main camera body is the 5D Mark III. 
I don't like to put emphasis on the gear that I use because I'm just a casual amateur photographer. This is my hobby and I just like to go out and enjoy nature while taking pictures. You can get great photos with any camera, especially if you are enjoying the experience of being outside. Thanks for watching and have a great day.